Hey guys, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Into the Bush. I'm your host, as always, Andrew McAfee, and today we will be going over something that I always carry in my pocket no matter where I go. So stick around as I show you what it is and show you what I put in there. All right, guys, I'm sure as you've seen by the title, it's something that I carry in my pocket every day. And as you can see, I've got two funky looking wrapped medicine bottles. And what these are, are pocket survival kits that I have personally made. And I carry these with me every day, no matter where I go, just in case of, a, of an emergency. And anybody can make one of these as long as you've got a medicine bottle that's empty, of course. So I will dive into one of these. They're both the same thing. I will dive into one of these and I will show you the contents of what's in it and tell you about how much it will cost to actually make one of these. So, let's dive right into her. Okay, so you'll open your lid up, take your lid off as you can see, and it's got a match strike face on the inside of it. So, you got your match strike face, so you know there's going to be matches in it. So then you've got one, two, three cotton balls. You can use them as your fire starter or go along with what else is in here. And I'll get to that in just a second. The next thing you got in there is I've wrapped up a tiny little fish hook in some in some uh, surgical tape as you can see there's the fish hook so you've got food procurement with right here with the fish hook next you've got band-aids I've got one large band-aid, one medium band-aid, and then I've got two of the little small square band-aids. So you've got your band-aids, three different style band-aids, you've got your fish hook, You've got three cotton balls, and underneath your lid, you got a match striker. Now, as you can see, something that's sticking out right here, it is a surgical grade, surgical blade. So, there will be your knife to like process wood or anything like that. Now, the next thing is I've got wrapped around a straw about three feet of thick heavy-duty duct tape that could be used to seal a wound that could be used to accelerate a fire you everybody knows you can take a little bit of this off you can throw it in your little fire that you started with these and it helps accelerate it also in another little tube which is a cut up and melted straw as you can see it's got triple antibiotic ointment in it so if you do get a cut 
or you do get a scrape or anything and you don't want it to get infected, you treat it right away with your triple antibiotic cream, throw you a band-aid on it, and then if you want to make it a little more water resilient, throw you some duct tape over top of it, keep that band-aid on there, keep the water from getting to it, there you go, you're all set. Now, to go along with the fish hook that you've seen a minute ago, I've wrapped 15 feet of 65 pound test braided fishing line around a straw and I've covered it in duct tape, so it, or not duct tape, but surgical tape so it doesn't unravel. So, go along with food procurement. You've got your fishing line and your hook. All you would need would be a twig or a stick. You tie your fishing line onto it. Tie your fishing hook onto it. You could dig around, find you some uh, worms or grubs or anything and put it on the hook throw you the hook in the water and then wham bam thank you ma'am if you're any good at fishing or halfway decent at fishing you can catch at least a bluegill or a couple bluegill and you can eat the bluegill to survive now to go along with the fire striker in there I have put in five matches five matches and these are just regular dollar store store-bought matches and the reason why I put five in there is just in case you have to start a fire and you you don't get it on your first one you've got five to use plus if you're not very proficient at keeping the fire going once it dies down then you've got extra matches to start your fire again and the final thing in this pill bottle as you can see here bet you're saying Andrew what is that why is it shiny well, I'll tell you the reason why there's what it is it may look like a plain um, gum wrapper, but it's not. It's about, you see the size of this tablecloth here? It is a piece of heavy duty aluminum foil, as you can see. I'll undo a little bit of it here. See, as you can see, heavy duty aluminum foil. Heavy duty aluminum foil. Now, the reason for the heavy duty part of it is you can unfold this, flatten it out, and you can make like a little cup or a little bowl or something. If you're around a water source, you can make that into a cup or bowl. Dip this down into the water. Take it over to your fire that you've made with your matches and your cotton balls. And hopefully you've kind of used your razor blade here to get some little tender and use twigs you can put this that you've made in a cup or a bowl with water in it on the fire to sterilize and treat your water before you drink it now you're saying oh I wouldn't drink no nasty water well if you're in a survival mode and you have no choice but to drink water like that that's non-filtered non, non uh, scummy and everything 
you have no choice but to make this into a bowl or a cup and put it into the fire to sterilize it so you will be able to survive regardless so I've got my cutting tools my combustion tools I've got my cargo tape and I've got a container that I can make out of this also your empty medicine bottle can be used as a container so out of everything I've got in here I can cut I can make fire I can fish for food I can repair clothes or anything with duct tape <clears throat> I can fix a cut or nick with that triple antibiotic ointment and my band-aids I've got a container for the pill bottle a container I can make a container out of the tin foil so I've got just about everything I would ever need here besides food and shelter that's the only thing that this pocket survival kit does not do would be uh, food and shelter now later on uh, I will be trying to come up with a little tin or a little um, container waterproof container for like survival food for like your pocket survival food or uh, a pocket shelter had a brain fart there uh, I'll be trying to come up with some of those but at the same time right now oh the fire just kicked on over here in the fireplace uh, but as of right now, I'm doing these prototypes for these little general purpose pocket survival kits for me and my family and some friends. Um, if you would like me to uh, make you all one, please email me and I will do my very best in making you one and getting you one as quick as possible and I really appreciate you all stopping by and I will see you all on the next episode be good guys